Bulavinaka to all parents, guardian, friends, teachers, and students of our beloved school. This episode is to create environmental awareness on non-renewable and renewable energy resources. According to Mother Teresa, and I quote, I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples, unquote. Global warming threatens our health, our economy, our natural resources, and our children's future. It is clear that we must act now. And Cliff France states, and I quote, To accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream, not only plan, but also believe, unquote. Our history is created every day by what we do. People may hear our words and feel our attitude. Every decision we make is crucial to the state of our earth in the future. According to Theodore Roosevelt, and I quote, no man is above the law or below it, unquote. God is knocking at the door for you to change the world one life at a time and one step at a time. Therefore, we must begin today where we are. What can we do to give back Mother Earth her power? The answer is renewable energy resources over non-renewable energy resources. To begin with, non-renewable energy resources comes from source that will run out or will not be replenished for thousands of years. Most of the non-renewable energy resources are fossil fuels, constitute of oil and natural gas, and nuclear energy. One of the major issues that our Mother Earth face is from the extraction of these resources. Yes, extraction. Fossil fuels are extracted by drilling down through layers of sand, sealed rock to reach the rock formation that contains oil and natural gas deposits. After refining through the process of fractional distillation, they are stored in drums and delivered to distributors for consumers to use. Also, coal are extracted after digging, drilling and bulldozing land because it is found deep underground. This coal are burned in steam engine locomotive to do work. In addition, other environmental issues are carbon emission, a greenhouse gas which contributes to global warming and climate change. Moreover, improper disposal of waste oil into creeks, rivers and sea not only affects aquatic organisms but also those organisms that survive on land. Furthermore, overmining practices of coal leads to barren wasteland. How can someone or something survive on this land? The process destroys habitats of living organisms and doesn't allow plants to grow on it. Lastly, the disposal of radioactive material could also harm not only living organisms but also human beings. It affects the genetic material and even unborn babies. Think, rethink, do not be a fool. On the other hand, renewable energy resources is from a source that does not deplete when used such as solar, wind, hydro, geothermal and biomass. This type of energy resources have advantage over non-renewable energy by reducing carbon emission but it also contributes to environmental issues. To begin with, the sun is the main source of energy in all the universe across the galaxy. Solar energy are trapped by solar panels which contains photovoltaic cells. These cells are hazardous and can affect living organisms. Also, clearing of land during installation affects habitat of living organisms. In addition, wind energy also have adverse environmental issue which includes the potential to reduce fragments or degrade habitats for wildlife, fish and plants. Also, spinning turbine blades can pose a threat to flying wildlife like birds and bats. 
Hydropower plant, on the other hand, can also have a large environmental impact by changing the environment and affect land use, homes, and natural habitats in the dam area. Furthermore, the environmental effect of geothermal development and power generation includes the change in land use associated with exploration and plant construction, noise and site pollution, the discharge of water and gases, and the productions of foul odor and soil subsistence. Moreover, biomass and biofuel demands can lead to deforestation and burning of biomass releases carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, into the atmosphere. So we can see the negative environmental impacts renewable energy has on our environment. Frank Herbert states, and I quote, the beginning of knowledge is the discovery of something we do not understand, unquote. Here are some activities that you can do relating to this video which will assist you in basic science, physics, geography, general knowledge. We hope you have enjoyed this segment from the team Winakavaka, Daniwad, and God bless.